Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, I guess we'll call this one a little bit of a weekend recap slash rant video about all the mistakes that Bandai made over this previous weekend. Or I guess more specifically, the mistakes that Akatsuki made. And, uh, you know, every game developer makes mistakes, right? It's, it's allowable, it's okay, but... I mean, <laughs> this weekend it was just especially bad for Bandai and Askotsky, and uh, yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. So there are three main things I want to talk about in this video. Number one is the massive like key slash damage bug that's currently live on JP at the moment, and uh, it was actually brought in by the new update, the 4.3.0 update. So about a week ago, you guys might have heard about this uh, bug that was affecting LR Kale and Khalifla. And they were basically doing a lot more damage than they were supposed to, right? So uh, people were saying, you know, they're going to patch that out, you know, Bandai addressed it and everything. And I'm not sure if they got fixed after the patch, but <laughs> apparently every single other unit in the game is now broken with the same bug or a very similar bug. And uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, basically going to your game right now, run a team you normally would run, like fusions or whatever, where you know, like generally speaking, what the damage number or attack stats where your units should be and you'll notice that basically every single unit is going to do significantly more damage or at least have a significantly higher attack stat than they did before and i'm not really sure what's going on there but i went into my fusions team and i was running gogeta blue with uh, you know the str gogeta and my str gogeta will normally have an attack stat of like 1.6 mil and after the update he now has an attack stat of like 2.1 to 2.3 mil, and I'm not, I, I don't know what's going on there, uh, but obviously something's not working properly, something is broken, and I'm sure Bandai will address it sometime soon, but <laughs> I just don't know how they let something like that happen, you know, it's such a massive, just like, bug, I mean, it's such a game-breaking thing, it, I mean, it doesn't break the game, let me, let me be clear, it doesn't break the game, and in fact, if anything, it's kind of a positive for players right now, but in the long run, I mean, they can't keep it that way because it's just, the game's not working as intended, right? And uh, like I said, one positive for sure that's coming out of this is that we're definitely going to get a big, some kind of big compensation. I mean, for a graphical glitch in the past, JP got 300 stones, right? So, I mean, what are they going to give us for this one? I mean, <laughs> at this point, they already set the precedent, already set the bar with the 300 stones. So, are they going to give another, another 300 stones? Are they going to give 500 stones? A ton of tickets? I don't really know, guys. But um, it's uh, going to be interesting to see how Bandai addresses this. If you guys scroll through Reddit right now, just a quick scroll through, you'll see tons of videos of people using their LR Goku and Frieza's or LR Gohan's and getting attack stats of like over 100 million. Now, I've been told this could potentially be a graphical glitch. So the number, like the number you see, the attack stat you see actually isn't the real attack stat. It's just a visual thing. Whereas like the actual, you know, damage tilt is going to reflect like a lower number or something like that, or like the actual number it's supposed to be. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm not like, like I said, man, I don't have a lot of information. I don't even really know what the actual mechanics behind this is. Like why these units are doing more damage or why they have higher attack stats. All I know is it's happening. It's not supposed to be happening. And uh, Bandai messed up big time there, man. That was a <laughs> very, very big misstep, a huge bug in the game right now that is still live at the moment, I believe. And uh, this game could at any moment go into emergency uh, emergency maintenance because they want to fix that, right? They can't keep it in the game. Like, it just doesn't make sense. But anyways, um, <laughs> let me know if you guys have experienced this and uh, if you got any like crazy nukes or anything like that that you've done because I've seen some crazy, crazy stuff on Reddit. And uh, if, you know, it's not just a graphical glitch and it's actually working like or like not working as intended, you know what I'm saying? Then uh, definitely it'd be a good time to try to get your high score or like clear those missions for... Um, what do you call it? Punching bag? Yeah, do the punching bag event right now. Do super battle road because your unit's gonna do a lot more damage. So you might have a better chance of clearing those events that you couldn't do in the past. But that's the first thing I want to talk about, guys. The uh, huge, just like, gr like damage bug that's in the game right now. It's it's crazy that they let this happen. Like I don't know how a patch went through with such a massive bug and error in it. It's I don't know. Anyways, that's mistake number one over the weekend. Number two. It's not a bug. It's definitely not a bug, but um, I know some people agree with me because I've seen this complaint on Twitter as well. 
it's the reward boost feature, right? It's a thing that we can like hit the times two button and do get double the rewards, get double the experience um, while spending double the uh, stamina for certain events, right? Or maybe it applies to all events. I, don't, I know it's, it applies for Dokkan events and story uh, or uh, like quest events and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if it applies to everything. But either way, first of all, I wanna be clear, I love it. I think it's awesome, it's a great feature. And when I first saw it, when I first got the leaks, I was like, yo, that's awesome. It's a great step in the right direction for the game. But, I, when, it, when it, it came out and I tested it, I was like, it, it works as intended. But first of all, you only have three um, uses max, right? So you can only use it up to three times. And then you have to wait for it to, you know, restore. And my main issue with this feature is the time it takes to restore the charges, the uses. It's an eight hour wait, man. And actually I'm not 100% sure if it's like eight hours for all three to recharge or eight hours for each bar of the three to recharge. Now that could make a difference. But either way, eight hours is a very long time. Even if it's eight hours for all three, even if it's like that, which is the better option, of course, um, that's still a very long time, guys, and I was expecting, to be honest, maybe not unlimited uses, but at least like 10 to 15 to 20 uses, something like that. Um, but no, they only give us three. It's an extremely long winning time, and it's just weird to me that they implement this awesome feature, this like game-changing, um, super positive feature, and barely allow us to use it, right? Like, the most you can do is for like some kind of a like new story event where we have farm, uh, metals or dupes you can use it three times you have to wait for like another eight hours or possibly up to 24 hours if it's eight for each like I'm not really sure guys I it's brand new feature I haven't really like tested it out too much so I can't tell you for sure but either way man I just I just think it's so dumb that they give us a new feature that's awesome that we can barely use and uh, I do expect them in the future to change that um, I think that given the feedback a lot of people have already you know put out there and I've talked to some people about it, and people generally seem to be upset about it, seem to take issue with this, so I think Bandai, you know, a company that does, or Kotsky, uh, does generally listen to their fan base, their player base, will make some changes and maybe give us more charges or decrease the amount of time that it takes to recharge each use, and uh, I think that would make the feature very, very good. But right now, it's useful, but not nearly as useful as it could be because of how limited and how long you have to wait. Uh, between uses and stuff like that. So that's the number two complaint I have and uh, I guess that's I, I feel like that was also a mistake a misstep on their part They could have an opportunity to make the player base very happy and now people are upset about The feature even though it is a very good feature. It's just some changes need to be made, right? Okay, number three number three now This is a global change or a, not mis change a mistake a global mistake and uh Essentially, if you guys went to the news on Global Today, uh, there was an update to the Weekend Summon Ticket Banner news release. And essentially, it's saying that for the final weekend where the tickets are available, where you can do those free ticket summons on the weekend, the banner's gonna have times two rates, double rates for SSRs. And you're like, oh, Tiger, why are you complaining about that? That's awesome. Well, here's the thing. Um, most people, myself included, have already spent most of the tickets, or at least all the tickets we've gotten up to this point that we could over the last two weekends, and there was no notice or no indication they were gonna do this for the final weekend. So basically, everybody that has spent their tickets for the first two weekends is completely screwed. And I know I might be a little bit biased because I did it myself, but just let, even, even let's say like I you know, save my tickets and wanted to win until the last weekend, I would still think it's dumb for just basically everybody else. It's unfair to everybody else who had no notice, had no prior indication that there was going to be a double rates at the end of the weekend. And uh, if, if, you know, if I knew about it, I would have saved my tickets. I would have told everybody to save their tickets. But no, like they just decided to spring that up on us. They decided to um, basically screw over everybody who, you know, already spent the tickets. I mean, Here's the thing, you have the banner every single weekend. You can't expect people to not spend their tickets on the weekends, right? And it's it just feels like a dick move, really. It just feels like Bandai was like, ah, screw you, we can do whatever we want. And I know it's a free feature, guys. And I, I in my video where I was talking about it initially, like when it first came, came out, when the first news first dropped, I was like, this is awesome, right? I love the fact that Bandai is actually giving us free summons on the weekend. It's better than no summons. But it just feels like 
I don't know, I feel like a little bit cheated, like a little bit scammed by a free feature. Like, let me be clear, I recognize it's kind of petty, it's kind of dumb, but I just feel like this could have been handled a lot better. Um, to be fair, to be fair, Bandai still has a chance to make this right, which is to refund the tickets that people spent over the first two weekends so that they can actually spend it on the final thing. Because here's the thing, like, if they had told us from the very beginning that the last weekend, on the final weekend, the banner was going to have double rates, then, I, you know, it would have been fine. People, if they wanted to spend it before, if they couldn't wait, then that's their call. But they already knew, they, like, people who wanted to save for that final weekend, who knew there were going to be double rates, um, you know, could save for that, right? And I would have done it myself. I would have told everybody to do it. But instead, they gave us no notice, no warning, and just decided, hey, we're going to give you double rates. I don't care if you spent all your tickets before. That's your fault. You're screwed. And, uh, you know, that's just how it's going to be. So I think that that's not cool. Um, very, very poor decision on, on Bandai's part. Um, the poor decision being that they should have just told us straight up from the beginning that there was going to be double rates at the end so we could have saved our tickets. But like I said, maybe they'll refund. Maybe uh, they'll make, make that up and uh, make players happy. But... We'll have to see. It's hard to say right now what they're going to do for any of these things. Um, but I mean, I think it's easy to say that for the bug, the major damage bug on JP right now, they will fix that. Um, but I'm not sure what they're going to do for obviously the reward boost thing, which I kind of still have an issue with. And uh, the ticket thing on global, the weekend ticket summon banner summons that I have a major issue with. I just think it's not cool. It's unfair. And... They gotta do something about it, man. Anyways, Bandai Spies out there, hope you're listening. These are my rants, these are my complaints. I think I'm speaking for not the entire Doka community, but, you know, a good portion of it that feels a little bit slighted, a little bit cheated um, by the ticket thing, and also just, like, feels like there needs to be some, you know, improvements made to the reward boost, mainly just the time or, like, the amount of uses and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't mind the damage, like, the, <laughs> the damage bug that much, to be honest, because uh, it does, it is more fun to do more damage to your units, but, of course, it needs to be fixed, too, so. That's your update, guys. That is uh, the weekend for Bandai. It hasn't been a great weekend for them. Uh, lots of missteps and mistakes here and there, but um, overall, you know, I still, I still love Dokkan as a game. I, I know that, you know, they're going to make improvements, as they always have, and... Uh, it's all good, man. It's just another fun little video, guys. Don't take it too serious, all right? <laughs> and hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are about any of these things. All three of the things I talked about. Let me know what you think. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you'll stay up to date with all of my latest content. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. But that's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.